how to create a user audit log in .NET Core. Let me show you. First of all, create an audit class, public class audit, and then prop int integer ID, string user ID, string type. Prop. Effects common. primary key it's done after that create we are creating a num create one update to leg three okay let's create a helper class to map audit entity this helper class class will need a field entity entry entity entry is coming entity from our core and three get of course and then we are gonna create string user id string table name and then dictionary string and object oops string and object key values new dictionary And then public dictionary string can object again old values get and new dictionary. We can copy that easily. New values. And then of course audit type audit type num and list string change columns and new list string op and then public audit to audit we are creating a method ops not audit type audit entity wash audit new audit class audit user id audit audit type to string audit tail name tail alt values count if zero and then we are writing null or json convert serialize object alt values the new values and new values And at the same time, change columns. Effects columns. Okay. Change columns. Change column. And then return audit. And then we created a method to audit method to transfer data transfer object to audit class. We forgot entry, entity entry, entry, and entry to entry yep now we are going to create a method on the application db context class let's move the app db context yeah we are writing private wait before save changes this is my method name and change first of all change tracker detect changes as you can see here with this code we are able to catch all of changes about entities that's why i wrote this code in this line after that wash audit entries new list audit entry and then for each op yeah change tracker change tracker dot entries and change the name entry if entry entity is audit or entry dot state equal and this state and state dot detect or entry dot state equal entity entity state dot unchange continue yeah and wash audit entry again new audit entry 
audit entry table name entry entity get type name op audit entry dot audit entries dot add audit entry and then again for each entry get string property name we are looking entry entry properties now property property dot property dot metadata name if property metadata is primary key the key values property name property dot current value or switch case entry dot state entity state edit audit entry audit type audit type dot create audit entry new values because entity states dot edit property name property dot current value audit entry user id if entry properties property created by this is my field for the user id in my base entity current value if it's null entry property created by current op current value to string if it's null we are writing now yeah we should delete this and then if entity state deleted i can copy all of them Oop. audit type not create delete alt values and property that original value user id property not created by last i will delete it and then last one is modified entity state copy this code and paste it audit type will be modified update yeah new values current value and at the same time audit entry old values original value yeah i will delete it yeah and here after for each and we are going to create a for each again using audit entries for audit entry item audit add audit entry to item to audit yep this is my context class audit and then we are adding to audit these entries and it will be saved now method is done now we are gonna overwrite save change method in this step right over right here save changes yep and before save changes and then we should call the our method before save changes method yep that's it